Good evening. I'm Haley Wilkes. Scott Dennis has the night off. Thank you for joining us. The American Red Cross Southwest Florida region saw an increase in the number of disasters that they had to respond to this year as opposed to previous years. And next year, they have a plan in place in hopes of reducing death and injury. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo has more. Dwayne. Well, that's right, Haley. With the right amount of donations, a heavy dose of preparedness and education, Red Cross officials say their campaign will be successful. You've seen the videos, heard the heartbreaking stories, and wherever there's a disaster, the American Red Cross has been there to help. We've had a lot of folks go out this year. There's been a lot of need. A need met by a group making up the majority of the organization. It's that 95% of the work done by the American Red Cross is done by volunteers. So we have a very slim um, paid staff, and our volunteers are everything. We could not do what we do. Um, without our volunteers. Volunteers like Denny Dione, who's been with the Red Cross for more than 10 years. Well, I've got to have a purpose in life now that I'm retired, and this gives me purpose. It gives me relevancy. Especially during a record year. Uh, we've had more national responses uh, out of this chapter this year than I can remember in a long time. The flooding in Louisiana, the wildfires in California. And this year, the Southwest Florida chapter had a record number of 436 volunteers deployed, not only nationally, but locally as well. Well, we respond to single family fires on a regular basis, and that's really what we do most here, aside from planning and preparedness and educating the community. Responding to these fires on average of about two to four times a week, the organization is looking to step up their efforts for next year. We identify neighborhoods in need, and we install free smoke detectors in homes in the hopes of preventing and reducing deaths and injuries by 25% in five years. And although they're on the right track this year when it comes to donations, Executive Director Megari Van Sickle says they can always use more. We do rely on the generosity of the community for all of our funding. We're not funded by the government. We raise our own funds here. The Red Cross also has a nurse's assistant training program, which they anticipate will grow next year. Haley, back to you. Thank you, Dwayne. A Florida judge says a rule requiring companies to notify the public of pollution events is invalid. The new rule was pushed by Governor Rick Scott after it took weeks for the public to be notified about a giant sinkhole that sent millions of gallons of polluted water into the state's main drinking water supply. The law required companies to notify the public within 24 hours or be fined. The judge has now ruled that the new rule was, quote, an invalid exercise of delegated legislative authority. Governor Rick Scott says he's reviewing this ruling, but adds that the current rules do need to be changed. A diver remains in stable condition after being stung by a lionfish off the coast of Boca Raton. Lionfish have also invaded waters here on the Sun Coast. Many divers are hunting the invasive species that pose a threat to Florida's ecosystem. But as proved by the incident in Boca Raton, lionfish can be dangerous. Expert tell us that experts tell tell us that there are millions of lionfish worldwide and they continue to cause some big problems in addition to their sting. They're not very picky, so they're eating uh, many organisms from various taxas and uh, they would, uh, they're ca causing a great deal of damage to our reefs and their, our natural habitats on the water. There is tireless work being done by Moat Marine Lab to help control the growing lionfish population. A recent fishing derby on the Sun Coast led to the removal of hundreds of these invasive predators, but there is a ways to go. And now let's head over to John. It's pretty chilly out there. Oh, yeah, it is pretty chilly. It's going to be a very chilly night tonight. Beautiful shot, though, from the Van Wezel webcam. These high clouds streaming over have led to a very pretty sunset. A lot of the uh, colors of the setting sun kind of reflecting off those clouds, and it's really pretty out there right now. Take a look outside your door after the weather cast and uh, enjoy these beautiful colors. Uh, we, have, um, we have some clear skies right now across the entire state of Florida. The air is very, very dry. Uh, it's bone dry, and consequently, even with the cloud cover around, the air is going to cool off pretty rapidly tonight. Uh, I think by the time we hit midnight, or shortly thereafter anyway, we're going to be in the 40s. Currently, we're in the 50s, mostly in the upper 50s to near 60 across the area. Overnight low tonight, we'll talk about that in just a few. Thank you, John. Some serious renovation issues at Sarasota's Ed Smith Stadium. And now, the
the lawyers are involved. ABC 7's Ray Collins joins us with this off the field legal dispute. Ray. Haley, Sarasota County is suing the renovation contractor at Ed Smith Stadium. You may recall that $31 million renovation after the Reds moved out and the Orioles moved in five years ago for spring training. Both the county and the contractor agree there are bubbling and crackling issues, cracking issues with the concourse and flooring. But in court documents we obtained today, Gilbain Building Company says it's not their fault. We talked to a national reporter for Ballpark Digest who has written about this case. Zach Spedden says this sort of lawsuit is not uncommon. Lawsuits can happen, um, you know, they're not everyday occurrences or common occurrences, but they can happen when you get into a major project, and certainly a ballpark falls under the criteria of major ballpark. So, yes, there can be flare-ups between governing bodies and contractors. The two sides reportedly tried to mediate, but were not successful. Much more on this dispute tonight at 11, Haley. Thank you, Ray. Saul's NYC Deli in downtown Sarasota is starting 2017 fresh. The deli announced on its Facebook page that it is closing its doors tomorrow at 3 p.m. Apparently, it's only temporary. The restaurant is packing up all of the belongings and moving to a new location. Saul's won't reveal where this deli is moving, but says the new location will allow the team to better serve the Suncoast community. Community. Right now, the deli is located near the corner of Main Street and Lynx Avenue. Still to come in your Suncoast News, counting down to the big countdown, what you can expect to see during the annual Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve celebration. Plus, here on the Suncoast, a simple way to get you and your car home safely and free of charge. Every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new adventure. This week on Animal Outtakes, preserving and protecting our seabirds. Learn how you can help. Plus, Kids and Critters goes down on the farm with a couple of pigs. And just wait until you meet our Dog of the Week. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. Sarasota Institute of Lifetime Learning begins its 46th season on Monday, January 9th in Sarasota, Venice, and Lakewood Ranch. Meet Blair Tyndall, author of Mozart in the Jungle on Monday, January 9th, and information and intelligence expert Terry Roberts on Tuesday, January 10th. 72 Global Issues lectures by renowned experts, 24 musical conversations with great performers. Tickets are on sale now. For more information and to purchase season tickets, visit sillsarasota.org. You're invited to the hottest New Year's Eve party in America, and you don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. ABC's Donya Backus gives us a preview of Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. Two, one, yeah! It's the 
45th anniversary of America's biggest celebration of the year. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest will have the biggest musical acts of 2016. It's almost easier to say who's not performing because there's such a long list of people who are performing this year. The party will include five and a half hours of performances and special reports. I remember growing up watching this show and then to become a part of it uh, for 10 years now. And it's just, it feels, it feels like I'm part of the family. Fergie, Haley Steinfeld. To be performing on it and be a part of such an incredible program and, and along with amazing artists that I'm a huge fan of, um, it's truly an honor. I'm very excited about it. John Legend, DNCE, and Fifth Harmony, just a couple of artists scheduled to ring in the new year. Ty Dolla Sign and Kid Ink are performing with us for Ooh, Worth It. Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. And then so that's my cool. girl's new, so you get to see like choreo. And, like, and right yeah. before the ball drops, yeah. 10 time American Music Award winner Mariah Carey. For the first time, there will be celebrations in every time zone. So as it turns 2017 across the country, they will celebrate in that moment. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest starts at 8 p.m. Donya Backus, ABC News, Los Angeles. But if you do choose to go out, AAA is teaming up with Anheuser-Busch and Sarasota's distributor, Gold Coast Eagle. The group is offering the Tow to Go program over the New Year's weekend. It's an option for those who have had too much to drink and need a free ride home. The service is available within a 10-mile radius of your location, and the tow truck can carry up to two people home. The program is available to both AAA and non-AAA members. If you find yourself unexpectedly at a, at a local watering hole, maybe you've had too many drinks to feel like you can safely drive home, call AAA. We'll take you and your vehicle and get you both home safely at absolutely no charge. Since the tow to go option is designed to be used as a last resort, AAA says it's best to plan ahead and take a cab, Uber, or have a designated driver. But to use the service if you need it, just call 1 800 2 TOW to go. And we'll be right back with your forecast. Our community has its struggles. The fact is, people have less than they did just a few years ago, and sadly, the need becomes more profound every day. Season of Sharing provides funds to help individuals and families in need, ensuring they will not end up homeless and without a roof over their heads. Together, providing a helping hand and making a difference. Season of Sharing. Give today at cfsarasota.org. At SWC Properties, we pride ourselves in providing to you the very best in customer satisfaction and the secrets getting out. Maybe that's why so many people have chosen to list their homes with our friendly and qualified agents. After all, it only makes sense to list with a growing agency that markets in so many places. To list your home with SWC, give us a call at our office and ask for Eric Schrock. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. Attention small business owners. Penn Funding announces the easiest and fastest business funding program, the Platinum Business Account. We needed cash fast. Business is good, but this is an emergency. We needed some new equipment, and the banks wouldn't help us. At Penn Funding, we like to say yes, you're approved. With your Platinum Business Account, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more. This amazing new business account funding program is so effective, you could have the cash you need in just days. I called, spoke with an agent who pre-qualified us, and connected me. Call now for your Platinum Business Account. If you've been in business for at least six months, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more in just days. I called Penn Funding and had my money fast. Need cash for your business? Call Penn Funding now. Call 800-658-3433. 800-658-3433. 
Well, John, we have to enjoy or hate or whatever you feel about it this cold weather very briefly because it will gone, be gone before we know it. Yeah, it's just going to be a quick blast, but still, it's going to be cold enough tonight that, you know, we need to be uh, aware of that and, you know, watch out for our pets, mm -hmm. make sure they're inside right. in a warm place. Bundle up. And maybe if you have uh, neighbors that, uh, you know, maybe need a little extra hand or right. a little extra help, check on them, make yeah. sure they're going to be warm. This Good is idea. the coldest night we've seen since, seen since last winter. Yeah. So this is a really, really cold air mass coming our way. And much of North Florida will be uh, freezing. There are freeze warnings up for much of North Central Florida. 56 degrees, the air temperature still, I guess, not too bad out there. But you definitely feel a hint of that cold weather in the air because the dew points are so low. Look at that dew point value, 19. That is a dew point value that has no way whatsoever of retaining heat. You know, you think about it, you get a, you get a, a, a stream of air and uh, you put your hand in it and uh, even if it's really hot air, uh, like from a hair dryer or something, you have a chance to you know, remove your hand before it burns. But if that's steam, it's going to burn your hands because that, that moisture in air really does retain heat. And if you have dry air, temperature is going to fall off pretty quickly. And that's what's happening currently. We didn't really even warm that much during the day today. There was only a couple of hours when our temperature rose a few degrees because the air was so dry and out of the north and the colder air continued to drain down. Cloud cover coming from generally from west to east. We have a kind of a zonal flow aloft setting up, meaning the winds are generally coming from a west to east direction all across the country. But at the surface, the winds are all directed out of the north, and that continues to draw down that surface cold air. Across our region, north and south, the air is dry and the temperatures will fall pretty quickly, despite the fact that the winds are up a little bit. Look at these dew point values all across the state, 20s, teens, 30s. Uh, very, very dry air will allow the temperatures tonight to fall into the 40s, mid 40s along the coast, a little bit warmer right along the beach area. But inland temperatures 40 degrees in Northport, 37 degrees in Mayaka City. Uh, we even have some uh, temperatures at 42 in Bradenton, 39 in Parish. Temperatures north of us will hit the freezing mark for several hours in a row, leading to those freeze warnings that I mentioned north of us. But as Haley was saying, this is only going to last a very short period. As this high pressure ridge moves into the Atlantic, our winds twist to the southeast. That takes a warm front and lifts it to the north. There's an area of low pressure back in Texas, which, by the way, is the reason we're getting these high clouds streaming across the Gulf waters and across the peninsula of Florida. Now, that low will eventually work its way to the north of us and drag a cold front across the deep south where it'll kind of stall out, bringing us a, a chance of some rain showers on Monday. Winds will die down a bit tomorrow, but as that low approaches on Sunday, winds will pick back up again. So for New Year's Day, boaters, keep track of your uh, forecasts because the winds could pick up just a little bit on Sunday. Cold night ahead, a warm up tomorrow, and a pretty nice New Year's Eve, I think, with that warm up during the day tomorrow. Temperatures will fall off again tomorrow night, but they certainly will not be as cold as they are tonight. We'll have temperatures in the mid 60s, I think, uh, for the pineapple drop in downtown Sarasota. East northeast wind at about 15 knots decreases a bit tonight, stays down a little bit tomorrow, two to three foot seas and a moderate chop on Bay and Inland waters. Tomorrow, low tide comes at uh, 647, and then we have a high tide just around the midnight hour. Speaking of the midnight hour, at the midnight hour, we will watch temperatures at about 65, and then on New Year's Day, they'll pop back up to about 74. Sunday, 80, and then the week ahead stays above average. Back to you. Thank you, John. Venice's 90th anniversary is just days away. Up until 1927, Venice was a large orange grove. Landscape architect John Nolan designed a small walking city. 90 years later, his plans are still in place, and that's what Venice is going to celebrate next year. The city has planned events all throughout the year to celebrate the milestone. We want to have events for uh, our locals and then also for um, naturally when the, when the visitors come in, you know, the snowbirds. So we want to try and spread that out. We have events going on from February until October to capture that. Anniversary is in May officially, but who doesn't want to celebrate all year long? There are plenty of events to do so. We'll be right back.
President-elect Donald Trump is praising Vladimir Putin. Plus, the private jet vanishing without a trace, two families on board, and the ABC News exclusive, Carrie Fisher's brother speaking out. Next. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a CRV for $219 during Wild's final clearance. Just $219 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. On the next Black Almanac. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and riding at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a Civic for $179 during Wild's final clearance. Just $179 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's got to be wild. Finally tonight, a follow-up to a story we told you about on Wednesday. Half of the Manatee High School marching band was stuck in the Philadelphia airport after their flight was canceled during a layover. The band is traveling to Rome to perform in the city's New Year's Day celebration. Early Thursday morning, the, the band went to JFK Airport and then flew directly from New York to Italy. The team is now sightseeing and preparing for its big performance on New Year's Day. Glad they made it there safely. Absolutely. Trip of a lifetime, I would imagine. Yes, it was probably worth the wait. Yeah, they're going to have a great time. They are. Hope they don't eat too much pasta and cannoli. No, but why not? I mean, they're high schoolers, so their metabolism yeah, is probably a lot better than ours. That's probably true. <laughs> so eat all the bolognese you want. And bundle up tonight. Yeah. It's going to be cold. So get out those jackets. See you at 11. This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. As 2016 comes to an end, we make note of the year that was and look ahead to the year to come. Specifically, three watershed events that occurred in 2016, which will play out in 2017. First, the Florida Legacy Act which dedicates up to $200 million a year for Everglades restoration. This was passed to make sure money that is earmarked by the Land Acquisition Trust Fund gets spent on Everglade restoration. Let's hope politics and special interest lobbyists don't get in the way of this historic initiative. Another Florida story to keep an eye on in the new year is abortion. Restrictions were raised and passed in 2016 that now require abortion clinic doctors to have admitting privileges at nearby hospitals. That could be the beginning of an anti-abortion trend in the state and the nation. With a new pro-life president and attorney general in Washington, keep an eye on Florida to see if tougher restrictions are passed that test the limits of Roe v. Wade 
and set the stage for a Supreme Court showdown. And finally, medical marijuana. Over 70% of those who voted in November approved legislation for people with terminal illnesses to now receive medical marijuana. Now comes the hard part, growing, distribution, and administrative rules. Cities and counties are already putting up roadblocks, and there are legitimate concerns regarding where dispensaries are located. The state health department and legislation have six months to revise the dispensing rules and up to nine months to implement those rules. In the meantime, patients who qualify should be able to begin getting their state's newest prescription drug as early as next week. Looks like we have a full plate for 2017, and that's just the stuff we already know about. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community. Monday at 5 on ABC7's Good Morning Suncoast. Hello, I'm Don Brennan. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. The average person spends more than half of their day sitting down. And Monday on Good Morning Suncoast, a new study that shows certain risks for men who sit down too much. We'll have that, Josh. And we'll have some rain relief coming our way, and we'll talk all about it on Monday morning. Monday at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. I'm Haley Wilkes. A look ahead to 2017. The new year is fast approaching, but what issues will take center stage on the Sun Coast? Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Holiday scratch offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School, serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. We're ringing in the new year with huge savings for you at Bacon's Furniture and Design. Save 30, 50, even 70% off name brand furniture throughout our showroom as we welcome 2017. See the flex steel styles you love like Danvers, Dillon, Mystic, Fleet Street sectionals and more all at the guaranteed lowest prices. Now that's what I'm talking about. Start the new year off with a fresh look in your home from Bacon's Furniture and Design in Sarasota. Nobody beats Bacon's. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find a thousand international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota, Florida. 